Are you tired of sleeping on the ground? Are you tired of setting up a tent and inflating a sleeping bag and inflating a sleeping pad and stuffing things and rolling things up and putting things away? Are you afraid of spiders or snakes or Antifa sneaking into your sleeping bag in the middle of the night? Don't believe what the overlanding media tries to spoon feed you. There is a better way. Hi, I'm Mike, I'm an adventure and a dad, and this summer we converted from a ground tent to a rooftop tent, at least for part of the time. And today I'm gonna to show you 10 ways that a rooftop tent is actually better than a ground tent. Number 10, gets you out of the dirt. Now, if you've been watching this channel for a while, you know that I don't mind the dirt. It doesn't bother me to sleep in the dirt. Doesn't bother me to be dirty. Doesn't bother me to go a week without taking a shower. It's no big deal. But there are times when you might not want to set your tent up in the dirt. A place like this, we're at Moon Rocks here, and the main camping area is nothing but sand, and it's not clean sand. There could be glass and nails and all sorts of stuff. Um, a lot of times, maybe you're camped, you're gonna camp on the side of a road because it's late and it's all you have available to you, um, and it's just not a nice place to camp. Well, this, rooftop tent gets you up out of the dirt or more specifically gets you out of the kind of ground surfaces that you don't really want to set your tent up on or sleep in. Number nine, a rooftop tent gives your camp a small footprint. Now what do I mean by that? Well, let's say you're obviously you're car camping. You're going to have to have your truck. You have to have some place to park it that's not on the road or not in the vegetation or not in, you know, it's going to have to be in the campsite somewhere. Well, if you have the truck and a ground tent, then you need basically that much more space for the ground tent. And if you only have a limited amount of space for your camp, having the tent on the roof will mean you take up less space. And if you've got a bunch of people and you're trying to squeeze into a small spot, particularly like the um, High Rock Canyon Trail, there are only a few designated campgrounds or campsites where you're allowed to camp and there aren't a lot of space. And they're frankly not the kind of place that's really nice to put a tent on the ground. So small footprint, number nine. Number eight, if you're moving camp every day, a rooftop tent is pretty convenient. If you're doing big O overlanding and you're going from place to place to place and you're not sticking around, having the tent on the roof of the truck, it does make it deploys faster and it's easier to get things going. So for a family of four like us, unfolding pads, setting up a tent, unstuffing sleeping bags and then putting it all back together in the morning is a huge time sink. Number seven is the moon roof. Uh, this tent has clear panels on the top of the rainfly and the tent and you can zip those open and see the stars and see the moon and get cool little glow of light all night long. Now that kind of seemed like a gimmick when we first got this tent but honestly it's become one of our favorite features. Number six, breeze and ventilation. A tent like this has windows on all four sides and awnings on all of those windows. So on a warm summer night, you can open all those windows, get good ventilation and good breeze and, and good fresh air all night long. Most ground tents, if they do have mesh windows, don't have any kind of a cover over them. So you really can't leave them open in all kinds of weather. Um, and you just don't get as much breeze and ventilation as you get on a tent like this. Number five is the views. The views that you get waking up in this tent because you're up off the ground, you're six feet off the ground, you, there's no other tents blocking your view, there's no bushes blocking your view, there's no trucks blocking your view. You wake up in a big valley like this and the sun's coming up over the mountains, it is amazing. I'm not even kidding, it's spectacular. It's probably between that and the moonroof and the speed. Actually, it's, there's a lot of good reasons to like this tent. The views are right up there. Number four, it's just fun. I mean, it's like a tree house. Who doesn't like sleeping in a tree house? Honestly, if you don't think that it's at least a little bit fun to climb up a ladder and sleep in a tree house, then maybe you should be sleeping in a pine box instead. Now the number three reason a rooftop tent is better than a ground tent is the shade. We're, we're standing in the shade of the tent right now. 
because it's up off the ground um, and it's a big mass and it overhangs, you do get a lot of shade with it. Now you could run, a lot of people run a, an, an awning in addition to the rooftop tent, but um, you kind of don't really need it. You get a lot of shade even in the middle of the day. In the middle of the day, you'll get shade. You just go under the overhang and hang out there. Um, in the morning, you'll get shade on one side. In the evening, you'll get shade on the other side. So you just orient the, the rooftop tent such that you get um, shade on the side that you want in the morning or the evening. And then you just deal with it and it's great. It's really nice to have shade without having an additional thing that you have to set up. Uh, number two, it's fully contained. Everything that we need to sleep is in that. We have uh, the pad is included. The, it, it'll fit your um, pillows. It'll fit your blankets or sleeping bags. All that stuff is up there and just stays up there. It doesn't take up space in your car. Um, you don't have to gather things together when you get to camp. It's just all right there. You open it up and everything's all set up. You don't have to inflate anything, unstuff anything, nothing. Fully contained. The number one reason that a rooftop tent is better than a ground tent is that it's fast. Honestly, once you get good at setting this thing up, even with the hassle of it being up off the ground, it is a lot faster, honestly. Even if you can set up a ground tent in the same amount of time, you still have to pull out your sleeping bags, you still have to inflate your pads, and you have to bring all that stuff together, find a spot. So the rooftop tent is bar none, faster to set up than a ground tent. Now I don't mind setting up a ground tent. It's like a meditation or ritual. I really do enjoy it. I've been doing it for most of my life and it's something that I take pride in and that I feel like I'm pretty good at. Um, but a lot of times when we get to camp, we want to have dinner. What are you eating there, bud? Butter and cheese. Or, or it's getting dark and we need to go to bed. Or we want to go for a hike and explore the area that we've chosen to camp in. And on times like that, it's really nice to have this rooftop tent. So what do you think? Do you think a rooftop tent is better? Or do you think a ground tent's better? Hit the comments and let me know. If you've ever wondered what it's like to sleep in a tent like this, this one will be available for rent come the spring. Well, check this one out on Outdoorsy. And if you're planning a trip in the Reno Tahoe area, you can pick this one up and take it on an adventure. Happy trails.